When I decided to run the 52 marathons in 52 weeks, it was to raise awareness and raise funds for pancreatic cancer and honor my father who passed away from the disease just 35 days after his diagnosis. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We, got this. we have done something that is bigger than ourselves. It's not about me. It's not about the marathons. It's about why I'm doing this. And it always comes back to that. It started with my dad and um, embraced the entire pancreatic cancer community and the running community. I set out to raise a million dollars through running 52 marathons in 52 weeks. And I'm still going towards that goal. So far, we've raised nearly $400,000 and uh, inspired a lot of people to take action and also inspired a lot of people to start running and to create a healthier lifestyle for themselves as well. We had so much awareness during the 52 and especially when I finished the 52 marathon. In 2013, I was honored by Senator Ted Lieu as the 2013 Woman of the Year. So this was the Half Moon Bay Marathon where I dedicated this race to Paul Perkovic and he met me at mile 26 and we ran the point two in together. This was, I'll always remember this, this race. Um, he was battling stage four pancreatic cancer and survived for a few years but sadly just three months after this picture was taken he passed away and um, it's a very special race always remember it I remember watching her late at night and, she, and she's got this marathon the next day and she's typing away about you know someone's loved one that she was running an honor for and that became a really really big thing and I think it was because of that emotional commitment that the, the community suddenly like became aware. I think Julie does really help people feel that their loved one was of value and that if she can put this person's name to a disease and up there on Facebook where 20,000 people will see it or whatever it is you know that she she sends out her, her posts to, I think that becomes a value that their loved one is helping fight a cause. If you're leading with your heart and you're leading with your story, you are going to be successful. And you just don't give up, you keep going. And it's not easy. Sometimes, you know, there would be months where I wouldn't get a donation, but I kept going and I, you know, I was so passionate about it. Just keep your passion alive and your purpose and remember why you're out there. And when times get hard, remember why you're doing this and who you're doing it for.